Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to St. Albans today. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoy this service in this wonderful Easter season. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us rejoice by putting away all malice and evil and confessing our sins with a sincere and true heart. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray. May your people exult forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that, rejoicing now, in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3. Peter said to the people, You are Israelites, and it is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our ancestors, who has glorified his servant Jesus, the same Jesus you handed over and then disowned in the presence of Pilate, after Pilate had decided to release him. It was you who accused the Holy One, the Just One, you who demanded the reprieve of a murderer while you killed the Prince of Life. God, however, raised him from the dead, and to that fact we are the witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that neither you nor your leaders had any idea what you were really doing. This was the way God carried out what he had foretold when he said through all his prophets that his Christ would suffer. Now you must repent and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. When I call, answer me, O God of justice. From anguish you released me. Have mercy and hear me. Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. It is the Lord who grants favours to those whom he loves. The Lord answers me whenever I call him. Lift up the light of your face on us. happiness, many say, lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. The second reading is taken from the first letter of John, the second chapter. I'm writing this, my children, to stop you from sinning. But if anyone should sin, we have our advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, who is just. He is the sacrifice that takes our sins away, and not only ours, but the whole world's. We can be sure that we know God only by keeping his commandments. 
Anyone who says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar, refusing to admit the truth. But when anyone does obey what he has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized Jesus at the breaking of bread. They were still talking about all this when Jesus himself stood among them and said, Peace be with you. In a state of alarm and fright, they thought they were seeing a ghost. But he said, Why are you so agitated? And why are these doubts rising in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet. Yes, it is I indeed. Touch me and see for yourselves. A ghost has no flesh and bones. As you can see, I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and feet. Their joy was so great that they could not believe it, and they stood there dumbfounded. So he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? And they offered him a piece of grilled fish, which he took and ate before their eyes. Then he told them, This is what I meant when I said, While I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, in the prophets and in the Psalms, has to be fulfilled. Then he opened their mind to understanding the scriptures, and he said to them, So, you see how it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that in his name repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to this. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord 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 Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I would imagine quite a lot of you were watching um, the funeral of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, yesterday. And um, there were many things about it, but but I think the thing that struck you is is how how it was necessarily very simple. That's the actual funeral itself, of course, not what happened beforehand. Um, but but even even that was was somewhat less than would have been the case outside COVID. 
And we all know we've all been affected so much by, by this disease. Um, many vicars have had a lot of funerals to take. I, I've, I've only had um, a few, and only one of those was as a direct result of COVID-19. But the resurrection of Jesus is something that should give us all something to hope for, even, even in the darkest depths and despair that has been this pandemic. It's something we can hold on to and cling to. The Communion Antiphon, actually, is, is a bit of the Bible that I really like. It's when Cleopas and his friend on the road to Emmaus, they, they recognise Jesus and they say how their hearts burned within them at the words that he spoke. Let's pray that the news of the dead resurrection of Jesus will burn in our hearts and give us strength at a time that is still difficult. And let's, with that strength in our hearts, pray that things will begin to get better in our own country, which they seem to be doing just at the moment, but across the world, because many countries, uh, India and Brazil are the two that, that really stick in my mind because I have family connections with both of them, are undergoing a, a terrible um, time because of, of this disease. So let us look forward in hope that this will go not just from our own country, but from across the world, and that our lives can become normal again, whatever that normal will be, but without all the heavy restrictions that we have, even at the moment as lockdown is being released. So let us look forward this Easter with hope. Amen. We stand to say the creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, begotten, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from the heaven, by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He shall come in in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we hear his word in the scriptures, our hearts long, our hearts burn within us 
with a longing for God's presence, with his Easter hope, let us express our needs in prayer. Let us pray for the shepherds of the church, that they may always bring the church's members closer to God's love. We pray for Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Pope Francis, Bartholomew the Ecumenical Patriarch, and all leaders and the leaders of all Christian churches. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In the Diocese of Birmingham, we pray for all spiritual directors whose joy and purpose it is to enable individuals <coughs> to discern God at work in their lives and to hear his call and direction. In our deanery, we pray for the parish of St. Luke, Birmingham. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for Father Jerry and his family our parish and congregation. We bring before God the staff, students and governors at St Albans Academy and Stanhope Wellbeing Hub. We pray for the people of Highgate Baptist Church, St Anne's Roman Catholic Church, the Shear Mosque in Clifton Road, Birmingham Central Mosque, the Bahu Trust and Birmingham Central Synagogue. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for national and world leaders that Jesus may open their hearts to keep his commandments as God calls all to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with him. Lord, hear us. <coughs> Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are guiding our nation and shaping national policies during the COVID-19 pandemic, that they may make wise decisions. Lord, hear us. <coughs> Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those baptised, confirmed, ordained or married at this difficult time, that these sacraments may be a blossoming in their lives that will bear good fruit. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we pray for all who are in pain of body, mind or spirit, that God may reveal, relieve their distress and put gladness into their hearts again. Remember those for whom our prayers have been asked. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the faithful departed that they may enjoy eternal life through the crucified and risen Lord. We pray for all who have died recently, especially Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Brenda Grosner and Martin Skalski, those who have died as a result of COVID-19 and those who have died suddenly, alone or unprepared. By name amongst those whose years mind occur at this time, we remember especially Douglas Peel, priest, Mary Wall, and Lorna Hughes. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord. And let I perpetual shine upon them. Let us join our prayers with those of all the saints, and especially with Mary, mother of our risen Lord and Queen of Peace. Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, the Lord is, is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou among women, women, and blessed, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, womb Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Let us in a time of silence bring our fears, worries and concerns to the throne of grace. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
heaven and hell before him bow and at his footstool. Bless to you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It shall become for us the cup of salvation. Bless be God forever. <clears throat> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his children. Receive, O Lord, we pray these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. 
It is indeed right our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, almighty and eternal Father. In these days of Easter, we celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of eternal, of life eternal. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness. While angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. So Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Jesus is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are <laughs> saviour of the world. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption 
as we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving and we bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of Our Lady, St. Alban, St. Patrick and all the saints we may praise and glory for you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. They were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thanks be to God. And let us offer, in whatever way we can in these circumstances, a sign of peace. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. On your day, we This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy to receive you, you but, but only say the Lord, word, and I shall be healed. Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day. In his name, penance for the remission of sin. 
Let us pray. 
Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. Amen. Amen. God the Holy Spirit, who filled the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. Go forth. Sorry. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. God, by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you have brought joy to the whole world. Grant that, by the help of his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus lives and spoke his death.
as he died. 